Well, I'm here because I got this game about a week ago, the Super Mario, and I played it for probably an hour the other day, and then I fell off one of the cliffs and died, and so now I gotta return it and just seeing if you guys have a new new one I can buy. It's a what game? That's from Europe. Can I trade it in? Can you? Can't you can't even European. buy it. Yeah. But you do have new copies of this. It seems like it works fine, but the, like I said, you know, Mario died on the cliff, and then. So I gotta get a new one so that I can finish playing. I thought I'd get more gameplay than just an hour, you know? But. It didn't just restart you with like another life? Like, it's usually supposed to start with three lives. You know? Well, it restarted, but it must have been a different character or something, because my character died. Like, I clearly saw him fall off the cliff, and then if it, if it was a new character, then it was somebody else's, because it wasn't mine. Pre-owned is fine if it works fine, but if they died in that pre-owned one, then I'll just get the new one because then I'll just have to come back and return that one. No, it, it's got multiple lives. Like if you die, it's not a different person. It's, it's Mario, but a different life. Okay, if that if that game will work for me, then fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'll get the warranty. That way, if I die again, I can come and return it or get a new one. Oh, it's gonna be sixty-two oh five. So now if I, I got the warranty on this, so now if I die again, I can come back in and return this one and get a new one? Um, yeah, if it's defective, uh, yeah, you can swap that out. Um, I'll just do my best to avoid the cliffs, yeah? <laughs> he wasn't even having it, dude. He was just done. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. If it's defective, you can bring it, bring it back. If I weren't there, I wouldn't deal with a guy like me either. I'd just be like, yeah, just bring it back if you have an issue. One small step for man. One giant leap for dwarves. One giant leap for frogs. One crippling accident for an elderly woman. <laughs> I'm cracking myself out, dude. <laughs> she broke her hip. Next thing you know, she was having trouble breathing. She stayed in the hospital, then she passed away. That's how it happens, like every time, right? One small step for the dinosaurs. We're going back to the bowling alley because you gotta try to get that Sonic with the claw machine again. The difference between you and your other loser friends is that you don't give up easily. So when you have the opportunity to keep trying, you keep trying. Especially when you're not the one paying for it. If it was your money though, you shouldn't do that. If you practice riding a bike or doing wheelie, riding a unicycle, you don't just give up after three tries. That's what everybody else does. And that's why they can't do anything. You gotta keep trying even when you're mad, sad. It doesn't matter how you feel, you gotta keep trying. And that's what will make you successful in life while other people are losers. <laughs> but seriously. Sound good? Success! No! 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 Should we go tell them? The game's not working. I want you to win it this time, okay? What did it take? 98 tries or some, I don't know. Close to that? Mm-hmm. And how did it feel when you finally won it? Good. Now you're better than all the losers who's quit. So it's not really a skill-based game. It's when the machine goes through enough tries it decides to have a stronger grip. But with most other things in life, the more you practice, the better you get. It doesn't have a brain. It does, kind of. It's a computer. Dude, we can get some great deals in here. <laughs> Uh, maybe just like one more month of diet and exercise. Or you don't want to sell or something. What's up with that? Go down. Nothing, he's just recording me. He's not recording you anymore. Just me. He can't see you. We just vlog. If you don't want us to record at all, we'll just put it down. Yeah, I think it's a stroller or a baby carrier or something. Yes, a baby walker. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> a baby thing. I'll make good use of this. All right, ma'am, have a good day. Let's get this freaking stupid baby walker back to my mom. All right, dude, get in it. Cross the road. I was on the phone with my car insurance guy and I had to read the, the VIN number of the vehicle. I'm like reading it. I'm like, R as in rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> o as in osteoporosis. <laughs> S as in Wisconsin. <laughs> J as in Jose. <laughs>
every word that starts with that letter but does not sound like the typical use you know what i mean p as in therapeutic i want to call somebody and like or give them some kind of like string of letters where instead of the letters i say like jose airplane shellfish you got that so a r o s s j as in jose we gotta call somebody to do that that's so funny dude hi right, i'll get a m and m mcflurry can I get a M&M McFlurry? We don't have ice cream at the moment. Would you like ice cream? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Just a dollar for ice cream. We got chocolate, vanilla, got sprinkles, Ooh. Oreo. Oreo bar. Oreo bar? Mm -hmm. need this one. It's just a dollar. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The machine's down, so. Dude, I can't believe we got a sale. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, ice cream. We got Oreo. We got chocolate vanilla in here. We got cones, sprinkles. On the house. Extra sprinkles. There you go. You're welcome. Man, McDonald's can't even take care of their own employees' ice cream needs. Ice cream? Ice cream? You guys want ice cream? Sure. It's just a dollar. Uh, no? Okay. Make sure I give you a good scoop. Sprinkles? Uh, no, thank you. There you go. Be careful here. Let me give you some napkins. Don't want to drip that in there. Thank you. Yep. Oh, yeah. This one, though. Yep. Hey, uh, excuse me. Yes, sir. I, I hate to interrupt. Would you like one? No, 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 no. Um, but I, I actually have to like ask you to leave. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's just, it's just you can't be like promoting your stuff on like our property or something like that. The last call for the day. Would you like ice cream? It's just one dollar. Sure. Give you a nice big scoop and just one dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I even gave it to an employee. How does that make sense? <laughs> and then the manager guy came out. He was so nice, dude. He's like, oh, I just got to ask you to leave. I, I can't fathom that people have a dollar cash on them because I never do. But apparently that's a thing and, and they do. And then I gave away like two on the house. <laughs> it's on the cart. <laughs> ice cream, ma'am. Ice cream. You like some ice cream? We got chocolate, vanilla. You gave it away or what? It's just a dollar. No, thank you. What about on the house? Thank you. It's just a dollar. Dollar? Mm-hmm. That's a bit. Uh, let me get vanilla. Okay, what's okay, that? Huh? I'm gonna let them get theirs here. They know better. You, you can't be over here selling that. Excuse me? I was just gonna give them some. Would you like some before I leave? No, thank you. I'll Thanks. give you a big scoop. I bet. Just a dollar. Yeah, we're good. You want sprinkles? Nah, no, I'm good, I'm good. Appreciate it, appreciate yep, there it. There you go. <laughs> Alright, man. Hey, can I get an ice cream? Yeah. What kind do you want? I got chocolate, vanilla, Oreo. We get a vanilla. Vanilla. Want sprinkles? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, take care. All right, you too. There you go. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're sweet. You know you're in the wrong. Wrong? Your ice cream machine was down. What? Well, it was. You need to tell your manager then because I called earlier and you said your ice cream machine was down. Oh, it hurts. It's a cold tub. <laughs> right there? Ooh, it's nice and cold. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> Come on. Yes, I've never seen dry ice before, okay? I want more. So, I'm glad we got this thing. And now, like, you know, now that we have it, you know, we can, like, put it in storage for, like, years, dude. So, that's cool. <gasps> Excuse you. What is it doing, dude? That's crazy. Where's the off button? You're getting a call. Oh, I forgot to turn my ice off. <laughs> oh, my dry ice is calling. I almost forgot, like, you can't hold it. You'll see it. Oh! Again, again! Go off. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I used syringe. <laughs> I've, been looking, I've been looking for this. 
<laughs> Who wants to play? Let's play cards. <laughs> All right, so the card was a lot. We're three dollars in. Dude, a couple more months of this, and we'll be turning profit. Huh. Right, we're close, man. If we if we keep on our grind, dude. and we keep on our hustle. Thirty years, we might have it paid off. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I accidentally gave the one guy a wrong thing. He ordered an Oreo, and I gave him, I gave him the other like popsicle thing, <laughs> and I didn't realize that until the next time when the guy dude, ordered an Oreo and I gave him. We're gonna Oreo. get such a bad Yelp review now, dude! Oh my god! I gave him the wrong food, dude. <laughs> no. So uh, what are we gonna do with all the ice cream? Well, you might have to eat some. <laughs> Is that what you're getting at, Eli? Do you want, it? Do you want the ice cream? <laughs> if you need it to be taken care of. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> Give me 30 minutes and a golden spoon. Can I return this one and get a new of the exact same coffee? Is the YouTube? Uh -huh. yeah, okay. I know who you are. I actually show her the stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah. I gotta tell you, like, you guys are awesome. Like I said, he died, and the same thing with the, the GT Grand Theft uh, Automatic. A very pessimistic way of reading off multiple digits and letters together. Uh, that's terrible, dude. C as in carcinoma, L as in leukemia. <laughs> L as in losing a loved one. <laughs> And as in my life's no good. <laughs> and as in nothing to live for. <laughs> and as in my giant muscles. F for fine wine, C for caviar, <clears throat> M for obviously Mercedes. <laughs> now turn left. Your destination is in a restricted area. What the frick does that mean? <laughs> Going to area 51, boys. 